Hey everybody, it's Edmund Vanderbilt with another episode of Once Around the Block. I'm here with the one, the only, Dan Silverman. Hey Dan, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Very well, thank you. <laughs> it's great to meet you. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a novel idea, I love it. Thanks man. Um, we got, yeah, let's just throw it in, who's Dan Silverman? Who is Dan Silverman? That's an excellent question. Uh, probably for the last 11 years uh, in DC, I've been known as the Prince of Petworth. Right. So I started this website called Prince of Petworth, which is now Popville. And uh, it's a website about DC's neighborhoods. Yeah. What, uh, what, what, uh, what, you, what made you start the website in the first place? Well, it's gone through a lot of iterations. Yeah. When it first started, I moved to this neighborhood called Petworth. Um, back in early 2003 yeah. and at that time Petworth was not nearly was not nearly as popular uh, as it is today sure. and so there was not a lot of information about what was happening yeah. what, what you know all people talked about was crime but if you want to know about some development some exciting stuff yeah. uh, there was nothing going on so I said you know what why don't I just give it a shot myself because there was all this free blog spot uh, technology sure, so, sure. I mean I just started it on a whim and it then it just went uh, and it grew it grew pretty big pretty fast that's awesome what was that what would that feel like did you kind of know early once it started growing that you were onto something pretty soon I would say it took a year okay. before I really knew but but the funny thing is is that I never started it like with the hopes of becoming a professional blogger right. like the whole sort of development of the blog and the growth and everything has been totally um what do you call it uh organic oh nice you know where it's just like okay you know let me go let me start going to this neighborhood let me start covering this yeah. covering that yeah you know it's not something that like other people who do this they're like no yeah. well, what was your business plan right, and right, right. what was your strategy this has, this has never been any business plan any strategy anything like that i just sort of like do what i think is interesting yeah. and it works and it that's works. enough yeah, yeah. So you mentioned like you didn't start off with thinking you'd be a professional blogger. Is that what has happened? Yes, since September of uh, September of 2009. Okay. Uh, this has been my full-time job. Wow. Uh, I started the blog in uh, in uh, late 2006. So we just celebrated our 11-year anniversary awesome. for the website. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And you said our, so you got a whole team now? No. <laughs> Or uh, the, the royal, the royal Dan Silverman and the Prince of Petworth. We uh, we are very happy. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> uh, what else is going on, man? You got anything happening in uh, in your life right now? Uh, I always got stuff yeah. happening in my life. I got uh, two little kids. Oh yeah, so, same uh, here, buddy. No, you, I'm uh, in the trenches. <laughs> I, have a, I have a five month old. Oh, do you really? Yeah, yeah. Oh man, five um, months. It's funny, like. Every month, I can't remember. I'm gonna let you guide me a little bit where we're okay, going. Okay, yeah, this we're way. just gonna okay. circle back. This is as a little loop. Yes, Isn't awesome. this kind of cool? This is lovely. Little park? Well, why don't we skip into that? Where are we right now so that people Okay, can... yeah. So one of the funniest things uh, that I've learned is that people are pretty intense about neighborhood names yeah. and what you call it. So right now, we're in like Embassyville. So up there are all the embassies. You can see that. I think that's the uh, Austrian flag. Oh wow! Uh, so there's a whole bunch of embassies up here. Yeah. And this is, I think they run the park. So we'll walk, we'll, we'll walk back All around right. it. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, depending on who you ask, this neighborhood is Van Ness, North Cleveland Park. If you go like one block that way, people will call it Wakefield. So it's funny you said uh, people get sensitive or, or very touchy about the, holy the neighborhood. Holy smokes. Really? Holy smokes. Territorial, huh? Oh my God. If it's fascinating. It, and it was more so. Should we do this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more so in um, in Petworth because, you know, the, the neighborhoods weren't that defined, yes. weren't that well-defined. Yes. Maybe historically they were, but in real life. Yeah. Like if you talk to somebody, you say, where do you live? They go, I live on George Avenue. Right, or, you right. know, I live uptown. Or I live here. Yeah. And it's only been pretty recently that people are like, no, you live in Parkview. Or you live in Pleasant yeah. Plains. Or you live well, in... Now, now they're dollar bills, man. It's real estate. Oh, it's my like, God. Yeah. And, and it's funny because, like, Petworth was a certain area when I first moved in. And then all of a sudden people are like, no, 
that's Brightwood Park. I'm like, <laughs> Brightwood Park? What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the city. I didn't know that all these names existed. I oh, mean, yeah. it's, it's expanded quickly. The, the really cool thing to do is if you look at um, super old names, yeah. actually the, uh, there's a guy who runs, maybe you should do a walk with him. Sure. There, there's a guy who runs the, uh, the Twitter for DC uh, Council, for uh -huh. the city council, and he tweeted out a, uh, a list from like, I think it was like 1920 or something yeah. of all these old neighborhood names. Uh, a pretty fun one that some people know is called Swamp Poodle. Uh huh. You can cross the street and go Sweet. back. Um, so, uh, wait, they were like just a, a nickname million... or a real name? Uh, that was a real neighborhood oh, wow. name, yeah. It was uh, encompassed a bunch of what is um, Noma and the Union yeah, yeah, Station yeah, okay. area today. So, yeah, no, it's just, you know, I kind of, when people get irritated by the neighborhood name, sometimes I like to poke them a little yeah, bit. Yeah, sure, you know, sure. It's like, I'd rather ask somebody who's lived here for 60 years and say, hey, what do you call this? Yeah, and yeah. they're like, them I'll defer to. Yeah. But somebody who moved here two years ago, exactly. just, God damn it, you live in Brightwood or you live in yeah. Parkview. Or you live in, okay, okay. So, right. you, I mean, you've seen DC grow a lot in the last 10 years, 11 oh years. Oh my God. Yeah. 15 years. I've lived here for 20 years. 20 years, okay. Yeah. I was born and raised here. All right. I noticed you have the bullet hat, which I like. Yes. It's a throwback to the original. Yes. Earl the Pearl. <laughs> Although, I understand the reason for the name change. Yes, of course. Um, uh, especially when we got the kids right now. Yeah, it's... yeah. And, you know, truth be told, uh, I have seen and I do chronicle uh, quite things. a bit of yeah. crime that does happen you know yeah. I'm not trying to ignore the realities of what what happens so but anyway yeah I uh, I do like the old school and the funny thing is when I moved to DC uh, six months later they changed the name oh really? I moved to DC they were the bullets and then and then uh, they there was this vote that was they it they became the wizards so uh, you're you're your own boss I am you answer to no one I answer to, uh, well, you know, it's funny. There, you know, people say, oh, it must be amazing. When yeah. I first started uh, doing this full time, people were like, wow, you know, you, you must sleep till noon. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, oh, you please. wake up, yeah. yeah, you do whatever you want. It's like, it couldn't be further from the truth. Right. Like, it's You're so intense. You're working twice as hard, it's yeah. It's so intense. If anything goes wrong, you know, it's on your shoulders. Right, right. Um, thank goodness I have somebody that does uh, my advertising and tech support okay. so that, like I can concentrate 100% on yeah. the uh, content, but um, yeah, you know, it, it's pretty intense when you when you just work by yourself because, like, let's say you have a dilemma or a problem or something, like you got nobody to talk it over with. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah. yeah, so it's like it lives and dies with you. Like all the glories are you, and all the f ups are you. So, you know, pros and cons. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So. We're coming up on the block. It was really quick. We were we had this thing where we, were, we thought the other block was gonna be too long, and this one went re by really fast. I have the the wow moment at the end, the words of wisdom, which is just really an opportunity for you to give a shout out or anything you might want to say. Words of wisdom. Okay, uh, I, I should remember this for my kids. I would say go with your passion. You know, people say you know how do you how do you do what you do? I say I do what I do because it's sincere and it's genuine. So. Do whatever's genuine to you, and you'll be pretty happy. Awesome. You want to say bye to the folks at home? My wife and kids. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>